Hello everyone, it's June 19th, 2014. It's an article in GQ magazine on May 29th, 2014. The title of the article is Why You, non nerd Should Get Excited About Graphene. You can see a photograph of this substance that is going to be reshaping technology. The article is by Joshua Furlinger. Let's talk about the coolest substance ever, graphene. It's one atom thick. It's 100 times stronger than steel and conducts electricity and light like nothing else. It is super material that is quietly changing the course of technology. Here's why you should get excited about it. It will turn computers into transformers. It is now being suggested that graphene can be changed into different configurations on the fly by simply manipulating it with lasers. That means it could take on the form of different computers in just seconds, freeing us from hard printed static motherboards. Right now you carry multiple computers configured for different purposes, partially because their motherboards printed on hard silicon can't do anything other than for what they were designed. Your smartphone handles a selection of communication and entertainment functions. Your camera is filled with camera friendly chips. Your game console is heavy on graphics and presentation hardware. Your computer is memory heavy able to crunch file structures and complex mathematics. Your smartphone will get even smarter. Graphene with its perceived infinite laser configurability as a motherboard could morph into virtually any kind of computer. Different sheets could handle different functions at the same time in the space of a tiny sheet of paper. Electronics could be improved and updated, even changed completely remotely. Your smartphone operating system updates and game console software updates are one thing, but imagine if you could download a totally new smartphone to your graphene-based device rather than waiting for Apple to announce it every fall. Your batteries will charge in seconds. Researchers at UCLA turned it into a battery that charges in seconds and leaves no negative environmental waste behind. Because of graphene's hyperconductivity and sensitivity to light, it can be used to store energy. In short, it can become a battery. And because of its minuscule size and flexibility, it charged in seconds. Your internet connection will be one million times faster. Researchers at Georgia Tech created an antenna that can transfer an entire terabyte, terabit of data in one second. That's 1,000 gigabits. For comparison's sake, the average U.S. broadband internet speed is 10 megabits per second. This wireless graphene test was approximately a million times faster than that. You'll know your blood composition in real time. Graphene is being studied for use as a medicine as it could act as a great bioelectric sensor to monitor things like glucose level, cholesterol, and DNA sequencing. If you think today's wearables are impressive in the way they monitor heart rate and distance travel, just imagine what graphene will monitor. Oh, I can imagine what it will monitor, all right. It's kind of, kind of scary to me. Your water will taste awesome since water can pass through graphene. It could also be used as an ultrafiltration medium to filter water supplies or even desalinate water. In short, graphene can be configured as a smart filter and that it can distinguish between different atomic species, filtering some and letting others through. Your shirt will charge your laptop. Graphene could replace silicone photovoltaic cells to generate solar energy. It would be cheaper to produce and much more efficient since it doesn't reflect as much light. It rather absorbs it, turning it into even more energy. And since graphene is flexible, we could one day turn our clothing into photovoltaic cells. Just so you know, or just, you know, plug your laptop into your shirt and you're good to go. So what does it all mean? If your head hurts, it should. Graphene is poised to change the world of technology as we know it. When I was maybe seven or eight years old, my father came home from work with a little jewelry box. He called me over, placed the box on the kitchen table, and gently slid it open. Resting in a bed of styrofoam was the first silicone microchip I ever saw. Well, I can think of several ways that this technology could be used against us. Um, technology is changing very quickly, so much so that I can't even keep up with it. I just wanted to pass along this information. Have a good night, everyone.